Hey, thanks for staying with us. I'm Cody Holnia. And I'm Ann McCloy. The tornado ripped up trees and knocked out power in Scotia yesterday afternoon. We want to go straight to our Craig Smith, who's joining us live in Scotia. And Craig, you've seen the destruction left behind in one neighborhood. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, Cody and Anna, it did cause some serious damage here in the area of Lye Road and 5th and 6th Street. Here's one example right here. I'm standing on the west end of 5th Street, and this large maple tree came down in the midst of all of this. One woman who lives in the area on 6th Street told me that she was trapped in her house because of downed lines. I looked towards the back and then towards the front, and I just saw the wind going around, and oh, my God. Albania Polanco was in her living room when it hit. The wind was only one thing she noticed. Another was the sound. I mean, it felt like if somebody was just throwing rocks at the house. So it's, it's a strange sound. It's, you know, it's very scary. That's all I could say. It is scary. On Vly Road, a contractor was sizing up a job that might take a week. A tree fell on a pet salon, making for an unusual challenge. Ordinarily, they're vertical and you remove them in place and everything's fairly safe. But when the roots have popped out of the ground like this and they're leaning on a structure and have broken off the structure, you have to be very careful, very careful. My wife had just left and her car was parked right there. It was only a week old car. <laughs> and she left a half an hour before it happened. So got lucky there, I guess, and nobody got hurt. Lucky, no doubt. Just ask Joe Rizzo. When one of his trees slammed into his driveway, he wasn't home, but he was close. I stopped at Village Hall to get some paperwork, and if I didn't stop at Village Hall, I usually park my truck where that tree is. So stopping over there saved me to have my truck crushed. But you think of all four parts of that tree, and now all the four of them could have been on top of your house. I just trimmed the tree. I had five huge limbs taken off it about two weeks ago, and the gentleman that came in and, and looked at the tree says, if you didn't take those limbs off, it would have took the whole front of the house off, literally tore it right off. Is tonight the night you buy a lottery ticket? Uh, if I feel that lucky, I'm going to buy it to win four. <laughs> and Joe Rizzo's a member of the village board here. He estimates the damage in the village is easily in the tens of thousands of dollars. He says there's no actual complete estimate yet. As for power outages, a spokesman for National Grid said that the only measurement they have is for the entire area where the storm went through, from here up into Saratoga County. And Patrick Stella estimates there are 10 or 11,000 people without power. He says most of that power was restored by around 3 o'clock in the morning. And by the way, that job that we reported might take a week, well, that uh, pet salon owner must have found the right contractor. We stopped over there later in the afternoon. That uh, tree's off the building and is all cut up. Looks nice over there. We're live in Scotia, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.